We were asked to improve housing in Kenya. Quite a few of the people live in what's called wattle and daub, which is a sort of stick lattice, and then that's packed with mud. Had to come up with a brick that was inexpensive to make, like an adobe brick, but was structurally stable, like a, a fired brick. The problem with firing bricks, first off, the bricks are very uneven in size, requiring more mortar. And one of the most expensive parts of housing in Kenya is the mortar. By achieving an effective interlocking block, then we could eliminate almost completely the use of mortar and decrease the cost of uh, housing by at least 30 percent. Structural members, how many? People have been making bricks for thousands of years, and some company comes and says, make a better brick. That seems like an almost an impossible challenge. The lifting mechanism, compression forces, getting the proper geometry, those are probably our most difficult challenges. This particular design allows for a lot of different features, including windows and doors, to be made easily. Also, because it's a three-block section, it can be divided into either a two-block or a one-block. The hole in the middle provides a cavity to put structural members, like rebar in it, or you can run a plumbing line or an electrical line, so it's got all kinds of cool functions. Well, as a child, I liked to play with Legos a lot. This wasn't too much of a different experience to make something a little bit larger. Our sponsor, US Synthetic, has the goal of taking our block press and making it available to anyone in Kenya. This is not just about building a new kind of brick that will make houses better. This is about making opportunities for families in Kenya.